Every commission is different, every artist is different, every sitter is different, and every reason for commissioning a portrait is slightly different. The common reasons for commissioning a portrait revolve around love and legacy. So for a family, it's very often a birthday or anniversary that prompts it. But the reason for doing it is because you love the person, the time, the era, and you want to capture it and send it forward for the generations in something beautiful. For the institution, it's a celebration of lifetime achievement, something inspiring, something that gives the institution gravitas. I think I've seen more portraits by friends of friends or by neighbours that are a <clears throat> bit of a mistake, a bit embarrassing in the attic. So it really is worth investing and in finding right artists. I think there are two aspects to my expertise. One is my sheer number of years of experience and the other is my method of working. To me, it's really important that you get the right artist for you. Not my perfect artist, not my choice, but the one that fits your brief and you. And so I add my 35 years or more experience to a very high degree of listening. I will help you to understand how an artist works, what's their methodology, what sort of person are they? Because I know most of the artists. And that way, you are so much more likely to have a work of art that will be a joy forever, that will match you and your purposes, hopefully, perfectly. The Royal Society of Portrait Painters is a charity that exists for the art of portraiture. But without patronage, portraiture is very difficult. If you think about it, for centuries, there's been an engagement between people and artists that results in portraiture. Many of our great paintings, the Mona Lisa, the Girl with the Pearl Earring, are commissioned portraits. Patronage is important. And those who commissioned portraits are doing something to the health and well-being of our cultural world.